Bonjour, bienvenue à Mrs. Diet Spice avec moi, Mademoiselle Evans. Aujourd'hui, on va faire les croissants. It will be in English, and if you're studying French, there is a worksheet to go along with this as today's French work. For this recipe, you'll need some Nutella, an egg, and some puff pastry. You'll also need two spoons and a fork, a bowl, a knife or a pizza wheel, and a brush for egg wash. Some interesting facts about croissants, they originated in Austria and were originally called Kip Bell. And January 30th is National Croissant Day. You can have croissants with jam, with butter, with almonds, and technically to have Nutella through the middle it becomes a pain au chocolat. However, I like Nutella, so that's what we're doing today. Here we go. First things first, we have to heat our preheat our oven to 180 degrees or 180 degrees. Then we take our puff pastry or pat of fruity and roll it out. So the best thing to do is take your pat of fruity out of the oven, out of the fridge, at least half an hour before you're going to use it so that it's easy to manipulate. Roll it along and flatten it out. So here we go. I am going to cut it with a pizza cutter. I'm going to slice across to make a few more. And then we're going to cut it. Think about how you're going to cut it before you cut it so you don't make a mistake like me in my first batch. So, there we go. So you can see here that I've got some large triangles, I'm going to pop these on the side, make those over for now and make some misshapen ones later on. So you can make these plain or you can use Nutella. Do Nutella. You could also use some jam, de la confiture, or you could use some chocolate chip pieces or pipped au chocolat. So here we go. First things first. Take a bit of Nutella, une cuillère, and spread it along the bottom. So here we go. Lovely, nice bit of Nutella. Voila. Here. Spread it along the bottom, along the line. Here we go. So roughly one spoonful each croissant. And I'm going to make three that don't have any in. So what we do is take the base and we're going to roll it up from the bottom part into the middle. Do, 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 like so. And then curve it to make a croissant. On our baking tray. So on my baking tray I've got some greaseproof paper which I've cut out to make a square on. So I'm going to have three. Plain croissant, and I'm going to have quite a few Nutella ones. So I'm starting when I fold in the Nutella at the big end, roll it around.
So here we go, here's my first batch. So what we're going to do next is take un -up. Remember one is un -up and lots is un -up. I'm going to crack it onto my bowl using Mrs. Dyke's tip of tapping it with the edge. I'm using a fork but you can use a spoon as well. There we go. And now I'm going to whisk it very quickly with my fork until it is all mixed up. I'm going to have to cook mine in two batches because there's so many of them. And so, using un pinceau or a paint, uh, paintbrush specifically for cooking, okay, we're going to dip it in the egg and brush lightly. We're going to dip it into the egg and brush it lightly over our croissant. If you don't eat egg, then you can generally speaking use milk and it has the same sort of effect. Obviously Mrs. Dutt is much better at this than me. If it rolls up, you can dip it underneath and that will tuck it in. Okay, so space them evenly out. My oven is preheated and what I'm going to do is pop them in the oven. in the centre of a preheated oven and now we need to cook them for 15 minutes. Now it's time to take it out of the oven but remember to use oven mitts. It will be hot. Fantastic, turn the oven off. Okay. So, as you can see, some look better than others. They are very hot right now. However, they're looking pretty delicious. While they've been cooling, I've cleaned the kitchen and put them onto a plate ready for eating. Lots and lots of lovely croissants. In the spirit of honesty, I've also got some interesting versions too. So thanks very much to Mrs. Dyke for all her help and advice in making this video, including the recipe. And remember that there is a French worksheet to go with this this week. Um, I look forward to hearing all about your recipes. And in the meantime, I'll have to eat all of these. Mmm, delicious. Or as the French say, miam.